Okay, hello everybody, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, I hope you're having a good night. All right, let's do a, let's do a screenshot. Okay, Jose, Glenda, if you can turn on your camera, Henry, si pueden prender su cámara, todos tienen el nombre completo, yes? Okay. No me funciona, teacher, estoy tratando de darle click. Okay. Yo, okay, okay, okay. All right, very good. Let's do the attendance. Okay, today is uh, April 20. Today is class number 11. Okay, ¿cómo van en la plataforma? ¿Por dónde van? ¿Cómo están? ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? ¿Questions? ¿Questions? Ok, si, si tienen alguna duda de alguna sección, solo lo, lo que pueden hacer es solo anotarla para que la podamos ver después de que tome aquí a, a asistencia. Ok, listo, Carlos Daniel. Present teacher. Carlos Fernando. Carlos Fernando. Christian Lisandro. Christian Lisandro. Cindy Janet Vivas. Present teacher. Okay, that is Mar Marisol Rivera. Present teacher. Okay, Edwin Gustavo Monge. Present teacher. Gabriela Saray Ortiz. Gabriela Saray. Glenda Maribel Borja. Glenda Present Maribel. teacher. Okay, está. Henry Alexander Juarez. Present teacher. Okay, Iris Reyes, Iris Reyes. Okay, Jennifer Beatriz Granados. Present. Jose Lazo. Present teacher. Jose Jovito. Present teacher. Okay. Josh Josh Sarayi. Karen Elena. Karen Elena. Right. Okay. Uh, Katia Carolina Vivas. Present. Okay. Noemi Lisette Gabriel. Present. Okay. Okay. Uh, Noemi Yesenia Ramirez. Present. Osvaldo Arturo Lopez. Present teacher. Okay, Sandra Maritza Olano. Sandra Maritza Olano. Vanessa Alejandra. Victor Hugo Reyes. Victor Hugo Reyes. Present teacher. Wendy Beatriz. Wendy Beatriz. Eh, Wilber Alberto Rodriguez. Wilber Alberto. Xiomara del Carmen. Xiomara del Carmen, Sochli Noemi, Jacqueline Stephanie Garcia. Present teacher. Joseph Selena Garcia, Sonia Giselle Maldonado. Present teacher. And Zulema Gabriela. Um, ¿Alguien que no llamé? Eh, I hear teacher. Karen Elena. Mm, yo teacher acabo de entrar, Cristian Lizandro. Uh, sí, vi ahí tu mensaje. Ok, thank you. All right, alguien que no escuchó su nombre, no dijo present. Ok, very good. So, uh, alguna pregunta sobre algún ejercicio? Creo que vi en, en el chat, había alguien que estaba, estaba preguntando.
Um, ¿Alguien? Creo que había una pregunta. No sé, deja ver. Uh, eh, Oscar Ortega. Ah, no, perdón. Es el otro grupo. Ok, yo creo que en este grupo la mayoría está ya en la sesión 5. Ok, solo felicito. Creo que ya casi dos o tres personas que están terminando ahorita las tres, pero ya casi todos están en las cinco, ¿ok? Si están en las tres, están atrasados, ¿ok? Les digo esto porque el tiempo pasa bien rápido, súper rápido. Eh, solo nos faltan, ¿cuántas clases? Eh, tres, ¿no? una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Solo cinco clases nos faltan, ¿ok? So, pasa súper rápido. All right, so... Ahora quiero ver el tema del sum and any. Eh, les mandé un PowerPoint, ¿verdad? Me voy a enfocar allí. Y tengo también dentro del PowerPoint los videos de la plataforma, ¿ok? Para los temas de la sección 4. Estos son eh, los, uno de los temas más importantes de la sección 4. So vamos, para ver. vamos a ver eso. Ok, very good. So veamos un poquito de vocabulary. All right, you guys like food? Do you like food? Yes. Of course, right? <laughs> All right, so section four one, it was word power foods, okay? Very good, so. Right. Eh, esta lección es de vocabulario sobre comida, foods, different type of foods. Eh, me gustaría que puedan repetir con el teacher acá, pero eh, mantengan sus micrófonos apagados porque necesito escuchar el, el video también. Entonces pueden apagar su micrófono, pero me gustaría que repiten a, allí, ¿verdad? Traten de repetir el vocabulario. Food pyramid. You'll also learn how to express the foods that you like and dislike. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary on this food pyramid. Food Pyramid For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. Listen and practice. Fat, oil, sugar. Cream Butter Candy Oil, potato chips, meat and other protein, fish, beans, nuts, chicken, eggs, beef, dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese, fruit. Bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries, mangoes, vegetables, broccoli, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes, grains, bread, cereal. Crackers, rice, noodles, pasta. Now, I would like for you to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. To do this, we're going to express the food that we like and don't like. We will practice each section of the food pyramid. Let me give a couple of examples. For the first section, fat, oil, sugar, I like cream, butter, and oil. I don't like candy and potato chips. The idea here is to practice all the vocabulary. So while you may like all the stuff from this food pyramid, I would like for you to think about your friends family and co-workers and think about their likes and dislikes um, for example my sister likes milk 
uh, yogurt uh, but she doesn't like cheese now it's your turn to practice I would like for you to use all the vocabulary that we learned on this lesson and express likes and dislikes after you complete this task please share your work in our discussion forums okay very good so algunos no estaban repitiendo se estaban durmiendo <laughs> ya lo vi ya estaban durmiendo okay very good so les quiero dar un poco más de vocabulario okay look uh, bueno antes de eso para expresar lo que me gusta y no me gusta right lo pueden tomar como el tema este de comida I like repeat I like I like I like pupusas. I love pupusas. I enjoy eating pupusas. I adore. This one is uh, yo adoro. Ah, pero como tema de comida no mucho se usa, right? Um, I am crazy about pupusas. I am mad about pupusas. Okay. Very good. What about uh, dislikes? Right? For example, sushi. Algunas personas no le gustan el sushi japonés. Right? I don't like sushi. I dislike sushi. I hate sushi. I abhor sushi. I can't bear su sushi. I can't stand sushi. I detest sushi. Okay, questions about likes and dislikes? Yes, I have a question, teacher. I abhor. I abhor. What do you yeah. mean? Abhor es, es una palabra bastante fuerte, es casi como odiar. Like hate. Uh -huh. Es casi it's así como. Similar. Uh -huh. Similar, similar uh -huh. hate. Hate. I abhor. I abhor. abhor. Okay. Es, bastante, es bastante fuerte esa palabra, right? Adore. Beer, I, I cannot bear. Oh, I can't bear. No, no soporto. Bear. I, can't no bear. I can't bear. I can't bear. I can't bear. I can't. Es lo mismo como I can't stand. Casi lo mismo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Very good. I'm crazy about. No significa que usted está loco, sino que es una expresión, ¿verdad? Me encanta, estoy loco, right? I love it. Okay, questions? Okay, so. All right, me gustaría que hiciéramos una actividad comunicativa. All right. Let's look at the vocabulary first, right? Fruits, vegetables. All right. Me gustaría que cuando tengan tiempo, le den un vistazo a todo esto, okay? So, to practice more vocabulary, right? Algunas ya se, la, ya se las pueden, me imagino, como por ejemplo, potatoes, tomatoes, ¿sí? All right. Very good. So, para que quede grabado acá, por si quieren ver el video otro, otro día, para que quede aquí grabado la pronunciación, I'm going to repeat. Apples, apples, apricot, apricot. Son esos melocotones, algo así, ¿verdad? Avocado, avocado, banana, eh, black currant. Esa no, no me las puedo. I don't know. I don't know what they are. Black currant. Blackberry? Sí. Blackberry sí les he probado. 
blueberry, también. Cherry, cherry. Coconut, coconut. Fig, fig. Es esa, ¿cómo le dicen? Eh, Eagle, ¿no? Hay un pan en especial que venden de eso. Uh, grape, grape. Kiwi, lemon, lime. Hay una diferencia, ¿verdad? Lemon and lime. Leech. Mango, nectarine, orange, papaya, passion fruit, peach, pear, pineapple, plum, queens. Estas tampoco, no, no, no mucho me la puedo. No sé si ustedes saben qué son. Exactamente. Raspberries, strawberry, watermelon. All right. Vegetables. Art, articoc, asparagus, beetroot, beetroot, bell pepper, broccoli. Brussels sprout, cabbage, carrot, cauliflower, celery, corn, cucumbers, eggplant, green bean, lettuce, lettuce, pechuga. Mushroom, onion, pea, potatoes, pumpkin, radish. Ah, mire cómo se dice eso en English. Look, radish, sweet potato, tomato, zucchini. Zucchini. Okay. Questions? Vegetables. So I have a list of vegetables and fruits. Uh, when you have chance, me gustaría que ustedes puedan repasar después. Ahí, ahí les queda la presentación. Okay. All right. I have different type of meat. Diferentes tipos de cortes, carnes, ok. Eh, dairy products, por ejemplo, milk, yogurt, cream, cheese, butter, ok. Corn, peas, bean, soybean, barley, barley trigo. Rice. All right, very good. So let's do a speaking activity. Talk about your likes and dislikes. Talk about someone else. Talk about another person. For example, tal vez, no sé, quiere hablar de mi, mi esposa. A ella le encanta el sushi, all right? She loves sushi. Okay. Talk about another person. What do you like? What type of fruits do you like? What type of vegetables do you like? What type of meats do you like, okay? So let's take time, let's work in small groups and let's do a speaking activity, okay? So veamos que gustos tenemos, see? All right, let's do a speaking activity. Let's go in small groups. Um, son las 9.22 a las 9 y media para continuar con el otro tema, see? Okay. Grupos pequeños, grupos de dos.
Sí, creo que no, 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 no lo he cargado a la, a la PC el archivo, solo lo tengo no. en el teléfono. Ajá, igual yo tengo lento el internet ahorita, no lo puedo descargar. Permítame, vamos a cargarlo para... Ok, para... hello, 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 hello. Mi hello, recomendación, hello, hello. mi recomendación. Hablen inglés con lo, con lo que sepan. No, de, no dependan de, de, del material que les mando. Hablen de comida. ¿Qué les gusta? Okay. Perfect, perfect. What do you like? Uh -huh. y I like pupusas, tacos, and hamburgers. I, I did like it. ¿Cuál era el tipo para mm. que no me gustaba? I don't like. Dislike. I don't like. I, I don't like or I dislike. Mm -hmm. Is the other word, for a teacher? Uh, you can say I dislike. I don't like. Dislike. I don't I like. Hate. It's the same, but it's the I same. Hate. I don't like. I dislike. Yes, it's the same. Mm -hmm. It's the same. Okay. Uh, I dislike um, asparagus. Asparagus. I like. I like um, pizzas. I like, I adore pizza. Okay. I adore, What about vegetables, like, fruit? Vegetable, I adore orange. No, orange is not a vegetable. Orange is not a vegetable. Is, orange is fruit. Orange is, is fruit. Yes, yes. Uh, vegetable is cauliflower. Mm. Cauliflower. Y zanahorias. ¿Quién lo ayuda allí al compañero? ¿Cómo eh, se dice uh, zanahorias? En inglés, zanahorias. No. ¿Anyone? ¿Alguien sabe? No, no saben. Carrots. 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 Ok. I don't like onions. The onions I don't like. I eat the onions. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, and you, Christian? What do you like uh, fruit? Your favorite fruit? An apple. Okay. What do you favorite uh, vegetable? Vegetable. My favorite vegetable are potato and onion, corn. Uh, hello, Osvaldo. Hi, teacher. What happened to your partner? Hello. Se salió. No, nunca entró. Ah, okay. Okay. All right, very good. So tell me, what is your favorite food? What do you like? What don't you like? Uh, my favorite fruit is the coconut. You repeat? Coconut. Coconut. Co. Co. Uh -huh. Co. Co. Coconut. Co Co coconut. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My favorite fruit is coconut. Thank What you. about vegetable? What is your favorite vegetable? Vegetables. Uh, my favorite. My favorite vegetable is uh, potato. No, repeat. Potatoes. Potatoes. Potato. Potatoes. My favorite. My favorite vegetable is potato. Okay. Repeat. Vegetable. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Vegetable. Thank. You. My favorite vegetable is potato. 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 Uh, potato, 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 potato. Thank you, teacher. And you, where do you, where do you favorite fruit? Uh, my favorite fruit, uh, I like oranges, bananas, uh, nectarines. I like uh, coconuts also, very good. Okay. Um, I like... Uh, Definitely orange juice. I love it in the morning. Uh, vegetables. I like broccoli, potatoes, 
tomatoes, everything in a salad, everything in a salad, mushrooms on a pizza, right? I like mushrooms with pasta or with pizza. Okay. Very good. Yeah. See, we can speak. All right. Very good. Ya vamos a regresar. Son nos quedan minutos. Already 20. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, 29. Okay. Very good. That's okay. good. All right. For you to practice. Uh -huh. Right. Try to try to review the the presentation when you can. Repasa la presentación ahí cuando puedas. Right. And um, okay. it's gonna it's gonna improve your vocabulary. Okay. Good thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Teacher, uh -huh. can you help me? Yes. And aquí donde dice black current. Mm, let me see. Where? Black current. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, uh, perdón, Osvaldo, eh, la palabra era black current, black current. No problem, teacher, thank you. Okay, very good, guys, all right. Conocieron lo que le gusta y no le gusta a su compañero? Okay. All right. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Okay, we're going to continue, okay? Let's go with the next topic. So, ahí les dejo la presentación y el video para que aprendan más vocabulario. Okay, let's go to the next section. All right, we're going to talk about some and any. Some and any, okay? So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the video, the, the lesson that is on the platform. Es la 4.3, okay? Voy a dejar que el teacher eh, haga su explicación y después yo voy a, a, a aportar ahí, ¿verdad? Esa parte. Some and any. All right. Very good. Ya vamos a regresar a esta parte. Quiero poner el video. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn what count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How about some sandwiches? Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically, anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English, we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, 
milk, etc. On the chart, you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade. Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Non-count nouns. Bread. Lemonade. Specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. The next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any. Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, do we need some eggs? Our next question, do we need any bread? We could also say, do we need some bread? However, when responding to these type of questions, we can only use some when responding positively. In our example, we can see how the question, do we need any eggs, is answered by saying, yes, let's get some eggs. And the question, do we need any bread, is answered positively by saying, yes, let's get some bread. Finally, we can only use any when responding negatively. So as we can see on both of the questions display, no, we don't need any eggs. Now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own. I would like for you to look into your fridge and make a list of all the things that you need and don't need to buy from the grocery store. Hi. Okay, very good. So, todos entendieron la parte de countables and non-countable nouns, right? Right, so eso es lo primero aclarar, ¿verdad? Tenemos que aclarar lo que es un countable and non-countable, okay? Countable, lo puedo contar, for example, apples, one apple, two apples, three apples, five apples, right? Sí se pueden contar. But, ¿puedo contar rice, milk? No, ¿verdad? No puedo decir one milk, two milk, three milk, no. All right, a no sea que digo una, uso una unidad para contar. For example, uh, one gallon of milk, two gallons of milk, three gallons of milk. Right? Okay, questions? All right, todos están claros con eso? The difference between countable and non countable? Okay, very good. Porque eso es importante. Para usar some and any. Okay. Very good. All right. So, lo voy a explicar como hemos aprendido otras estructuras, siempre en positivo, en negativo y en pregunta. Okay. For positive statements. ¿Cómo puedo usar some and any? We need some apples. Right. Plural. Uh, count nouns. Count nouns. All right. I use some. For positives. Okay, ahorita estoy en positive. We need some milk. Milk. Aquí me equivoqué, sorry. Quise escribir milk. We need some milk. Okay. So this is going to be the use of some, right? No importa si es countable or non-countable. En positivo puedo usar some. We need some apples. We need some milk. 
Now, no puedo usar any en positivo. Okay? We cannot use any for positive statements. For example, no puedo decir I have any eggs. No, right? Wrong. We have any milk. No. Right? Solo puedo usar some. Okay. Questions? Preguntas allí? Positive Teacher. sentences? Mm -hmm. Teacher, ¿cómo saber en negativo cuando se usa son, por ejemplo? Eh, ¿Cómo saber en negativo? Ahorita estoy en positivo, en oraciones positivas, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo que se tiene, tienen que acordar es que no puedo usar any en oraciones positivas. ¿Vale? Right? No puedo usar any. En oraciones positivas solo puedo usar some. Ya voy a ir a, a las negativas ahorita. Ya voy a ir a, a, a oraciones negativas. Ahorita estoy en positiva. Puedo usar some. Ok. No importa si es countable o not countable nouns. Ok. Lo que no puedo usar es any. Ok. Let's look at negative sentences. Negative statements. Ok. All right. I don't have any oranges. Entonces, aquí sí puedo usar any. For negative. We don't have any milk. Ok. No importa si lo puedo contar o no lo puedo contar. Ok. No importa. Pero en negativa. Las oraciones son negativas. ¿Por qué? Porque tienen don't. Ok. We don't have any milk. We don't have any oranges. Ok. All right. He escuchado esto yo en el inglés informalmente. We don't have some apples. We don't have some milk. Okay. No es 100% malo. Okay. Pero el mejor uso en negativo, en oraciones negativas, es any. Okay. Any. Okay. He escuchado esto. Aún gente de Estados Unidos. Pero no es lo mejor. Lo mejor en negativo es usar any. Ok. For example, abro mi refri. Y no tengo algo. I don't have any milk. I don't have any eggs. I don't have any apples. Right. Haga la prueba. Abra su refri y qué le falta. I don't have any butter. I don't ha have any cookies. Galletas. Whatever. Okay. Very good. So for negative statements, el mejor uso es any. Okay. Para oraciones en negativo. Okay. Ahora veamos questions. Ah, hay un, hay un, hay un artículo. Antes que vaya preguntas. A and N. A and N es solo para algo singular. Singular. For example, there is an apple. There is an apple in my refrigerator. An apple. Solo tengo una manzana en la ref. There is an apple in the refrigerator. There is a cupcake in the oven. All right. Eso solo cuando es una cosa, pero una cosa que se pueda contar. Sí. Ok. Ese es el uso del artículo A and N. Um, ahora veamos preguntas. Questions. Ok. For questions. Now. How can I ask questions? Ok. Do you have some apples? Right. Tal vez voy al súper y estoy buscando las manzanas. Le pregunto a la persona ahí, al ayudante. Excuse me, do you have some apples? 
o tal vez algo que no pueda contar, como milk. Do you have some milk? Okay. Very good. Now, ¿puedo preguntar con any? Sí, se puede preguntar con any. Do you have any apples? Do you have any milk? Okay. Tal vez eh, tú invitas a alguien a tu casa y tú le ofreces algo de tomar. Would you like something to drink? La persona puede responder así, como, do you have some apple? No, do you have some milk? Do you have some coffee? Do you have some water? Do you have any coffee? Do you have any water? Right? Invito a alguien a mi casa y le ofrezco algo de tomar o algo de comer. Do you have any apples? Do you have any milk? Entonces para preguntas puedo usar cualquiera. Any or some. Okay. Preguntas, questions? Questions? Okay. Very good. So, aquí en la, en la presentación, all right, hay bastantes prácticas. Solo voy a hacer esta y después nos vamos a la actividad comunicativa por el tiempo. Okay. Choose some or any. There is blank milk in the refrigerator. Some. Some. Correct. There is some milk in the refrigerator. We don't need blank flour. Any. 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 Any flower. Okay. ¿Por qué es any? Porque la oración Porque es negativa. negativa. Es negativa. Right. Very good. Number three. Can I have blank water, please? Any. Some. Uh, some. Some. Okay. Some. Okay. Very good. Are there blank eggs in the refrigerator? Some. Um. Uh, yes, some. Correct. Are there some eggs in the refrigerator? Number five, there are blank cats in the garden. There are some cats. Some cats. Yeah. Correct. Would you like blank chocolate? Some. Yes, some. some. Would you like some chocolate? Eh, esa frase la usamos para ofrecer, ¿verdad? Algo. Would you like some coffee? Would you like some water? Number seven, I don't have blank money. Any. Any. Okay, very good. All right, so, eh, tenemos tiempo para hacer una actividad comunicativa. Ah, perdón, el uso de how much, how many. Rapidito. How much es para cosas que puedo contar. Perdón, how many es para cosas que puedo contar. How many apples do you have? How many onions do you have? How many es para cosas que puedo contar. Okay. How much? Para cosas que no puedo contar. How much milk do you have? How much butter do you have? Okay. Very good. Preguntas sobre how much, how many? Okay. All right. Very good. So let's go to the activity. Speaking number one. Nos quedan, eh, la podemos hacer unos cinco minutos. What do you have in your refrigerator? Usen el vocabulario. I have some tomatoes, but I don't have any cheese. I have some milk, but I don't have any bananas. Okay? Tell me, what do you have in your refrigerator? ¿Qué tienen? Right? So, si quieren, vayan, abren la refri. <laughs> Tell me what you have, okay? Let's go to groups. So, let's do a quick activity speaking, all right?
nos la devolvemos. Sí, me parece. Ok. Eh, José Arquímedes, what do you have in your refrigerator? Eh, in your refrigerator? Eh, yeah. Apple. I have some apples. Some apples. Apple. I do. I do refrigerator. I home. Keep. Okay. Eggs, huevos, no sé. Eggs. Uh, eggs. Eggs. I have some eggs. eggs. Some eggs. I have some eggs. I have some eggs. Okay, una cosa más. What else do you have? Something else? Algo más que tiene? Um, I have the... Refrigerator, eh, tomatoes. No, no estás usando lo que aprendimos. Some and any. Ah, some. I, I son. I, no, yo tengo. I have. I have some. I, I have, have some. some. Eh, I have some tomatoes. tomatoes. I have some I have onions some. and eggs. I have, I have some, some. The chicken. The chicken. Ok, gracias. Ok, ok, José. Quiero, quiero que veas esta presentación, que te fijes en la parte positiva, donde dice oraciones en positivos. Sí. Ok. Quiero que la repases y que veas allí, esa parte de some y any, donde yo okay. estoy hablando, cómo hacer oraciones en positivo, <coughs> negativo y preguntas. Ok, Jacqueline, eh, what do you have in your refrigerator? I have some tomatoes. I have some potatoes. I have some chicken. Uh, I have some. Teacher, se me ha ido la palabra carne. Meat. Sorry. Meat. I have some meat. Uh, I I have any. I don't onion. have. I don't have any onion. I, uh, I don't. I don't have any green pepper. Uh, I don't have any milk. Good. Very good, right? Ahí estás describiendo lo que no tienes, right? Excellent. Glenda. Hi. Hola, hola. Sí, quiere leer la pregunta yo, teacher, para que uh -huh. se siga corriendo. Yeah. Glenda. Eh, finish. Ok. <coughs> eh, mm, bueno. Sonia. Sí. Entonces, ahora yo le pregunto a usted, eh, what do you have in your refrigerator? Uh, I have some tomato. Eh, I have um, some fruits. Uh, I have Eggs. I have some eggs. I have some eggs. Yes. I have I have some uh, banana. Okay, now tell me, Sonia, something that you don't have. Cosas que no tienes. In negative. Uh, I I have. I, I don't milk. No, milk. no, no. Uh, 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 uh. I, eh, don't sería, I don't have, have any. any any milk. I don't have any milk. I don't have any apples. I don't have any. Okay. I don't have any uh, milk. I, I have. No, uh, uh. I don't, Perdón, have I don't any. I don't have any milk. I no, está diciendo leches. I no. don't. I don't have any milks. No. Milk. 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 Milks. <laughs> I don't have any milk. I don't have any milk. 
I don't have any apples. I, I, don't, don't, I, I don't, don't have any beans. I don't have, have any milk. 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 Solo milk. milk. Milk, singular, milk. milk. Right? Uh, ¿Por, qué, ¿por, qué no, ¿Por qué no tiene S? Porque milk no se puede contar. Tú le estás poniendo una S al final. No, pero milk no se puede contar. Es una de las cosas que hablamos que no se puede contar. I don't have any milk. I don't have any rice. I don't have any sugar. Todas esas cosas no se pueden contar. Estoy usando any. ¿Por qué? Porque estoy hablando en negativo, ¿verdad? Ok. Carlos Daniel. What do you have? Hey, teacher. What do you have uh, well, uh, I, I have some apples. Ok. Yes, um, I have some eggs, but I don't have any cheese. And mm -hmm. I don't have um any milk um i have some el chile verde uh, peppers peppers okay i i have yes i have some peppers and but i don't have any onions okay. very good all right very good continue continue Okay. Any milk? And I remember that I have uh, tortillas and I have some beans. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Uh, Christian, uh, Christian, what do you have in your refrigerator? I have some bananas and egg. I have some strawberry and orange and, and grapes. Very good. I don't have any ice cream and fish. Good, good, good job. All right, so ya vamos a regresar. Okay, excellent job. Thank you. Okay, good, good job. Okay, all right guys, very good. So tomorrow we're going to practice this more, okay? So algunos les quedó así como, ah, me quedó a media. It's okay, we're going to practice more. Les dejo la presentación, ¿ok? Tienen el video que está en la plataforma. Tienen la presentación. Tienen la grabación de clase. ¿Ok? Y mañana tienen la, la clase virtual. Otra vez, vamos a ver este tema. ¿Ok? Entonces tienen todo, todas las herramientas. All right. Let's do attendance quickly. Carlos Daniel. I'm here, teacher. Carlos Fernando. Carlos Fernando, estaba acá, ¿no? Eh, Christian Lisandro. Christian Lisandro, sí te vi por ahí. Christian, what happened? Present. Ah, ahora sí. Cindy Janet Vivas. Present, teacher. Daris Marisol Rivera. Present teacher. Edwin Gustavo Monge. Present teacher. Okay. Gabriela Saraí. Present teacher. Glenda Maribel Borja. Present. Henry Alexander Juarez. Present. Okay. Iris Reyes. Iris Reyes. Jennifer Beatriz Granados. Present. Jose Lazo. Present teacher. Jose Jovito. Present. Joseph, uh, Joseph Beth Sarai. Karen Elena. Present. Katia Carolina Vivas. 
Present. Okay. Noemi Lisette. Present. Noemi Yesenia. Present. Osvaldo Arturo López. Present. Sandra Maritza Olano. Present. Okay. Vanessa Alejandra. Victor Hugo Reyes. Victor Hugo. Te veo, pero no te escucho, Victor. Present teacher. Ahí está. Wendy Beatriz. Wilber Alberto Rodríguez. Xiomara del Carmen. Sochli Noemi. Jacqueline Stephanie García. Present teacher. Joseph Selena García. Sonia Giselle Maldonado. Present teacher. And Suleima Gabriela. Ok, very good. So, ¿qué tenemos que estar haciendo? Número uno, la plataforma. Eh, tienen que estar ya en la sección cuatro. Terminando la cuatro. Ok. Solo nos quedan como cinco clases. Right? So, tenemos que andar. Tenemos que tratar de terminar ya este, la cuatro esta semana. Que solo nos quede la cinco. Si, si algunos ya terminaron, so los felicito. Ok. Si quieren adelantarse, denle. Yo les recomiendo que se adelante. Porque la otra semana es solamente hasta el miércoles, creo. Ok. All right. Um, también tienen que estar cumpliendo con los requisitos de, de documentos para que ustedes puedan asegurar su cupo al siguiente módulo. Eso eh, aseguren que estén haciendo eso. No, no, no se olviden de eso. Creo que hay fecha límite. Ustedes ya la saben cuál es. Ahí está en el mensaje. Eh, asegúrense que tienen todos esos documentos en orden eh, ¿qué más? y la asistencia recuerden que es minuto por minuto que, les, que Insafor les está midiendo, so asegúrense que eh, tengan la mayor cantidad de minutos ¿verdad? posible ok, preguntas, questions alright, so vamos a ver este tema mañana otra vez Right, pero uh, algunas personas quieren practicar más para que lo puedan manejar mejor. Um, les, les recomiendo los que sí lo manejaron muy bien. Hay otra segunda actividad allí en, el, en, el, en la presentación que es hacer una lista de super. Okay. Pero tienen que ir escribiendo con some and any. Okay. Right. For example, I don't have any milk. También pueden usar I need. I need some milk. I need some apples. I need. Ok. So, vamos a trabajar estas actividades mañana para poder desarrollar este tema un poco mejor. Ok. Questions? Preguntas? All right. Very good. I'll see you tomorrow then. Ok. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher.